It's six o'clock on Wednesday morning. I decided to come down to the plot just to have half an hour on my way to work. It's got a couple of things I want to do. Firstly, I'll show you what I've been getting up to. Here, my grandma's weeded over the asparagus bed. It's looking very good. And in the last video, or the video before, I mentioned that we don't usually get the spears come up till about early May. But there's already signs coming up. Just here. Just there. So all's well. None of these clutches here. I've planted out some red sprouts. Different variety I'm trying this year. I'm trying the traditional green, but I also want to try the red just to see if there's any differentiation in taste, flavour, and also how they grow really. So, just in that section there, I'm going to move the logs and then I'm going to plant the cabbages what I just had in under that clutch there. So, I'll crack on with that and I'll show you the end results. Hello everyone, back again in the evening now. It's, uh, it's a lovely sunset, but uh, there's still time to get an hour or so in tonight. So what I shall do is I'm going to carry on and plant the cabbages where I bored the holes out previously this morning and give it everything a good water such as the onions and the carrots I sowed last weekend. Also check on the parsnips, make sure they're nice and moist and also um, just a bit of tidying up really, um, see how far I get on and we'll go from there. Right everyone, let's get planting the cabbages. Plants are absolutely gorgeous. Really nice, healthy plants. Excellent condition. Roots just coming through now. They're doing very well. Right, if I can, if the dog lets me, I'll get these planted in. do is when you did the hole out uh, I'm just putting the plant into the hole and then what I normally do is I put the dibber in at the side uh, at an angle so to speak like this and if that's the plant there I really firm next to it so it's really hard makes it to uh, get nice tight heads so just like so Drive it in and push against. Same again on the other side. Drive it in. Push it against. Like I say, it's just give it a firm head really so we know so your brassicas need to be in solid ground. Uh, same as your sprouts, it can cause blown sprouts. Cauliflowers, it can cause florets as opposed to the nice tight heads. So, yeah. Simple really, but an effective way. No disappointments come out this time, hopefully. And again, and what I like to do is your bottom two leaves, I like to sink that into the ground. So you can bury those, well I do anyway, and uh, makes no real difference, but just to keep them anchored in well. That really, I'll crack on and get the rest of them planted in, and I'll get back to you shortly. Right, everyone, I've now planted 
all the plants in and gave them a good drink. It's important as young seedlings and transplants that you give them as much care and attention as you can. Giving them plenty of water in their early stages, making sure the weeds are held down and also most importantly I feel, personally for me anyway, is to keep them covered up either with netting, clutches or any potential barriers against the pigeons. We got a lot of wood pigeons down here and they like nothing better than to eat all the brassicas. And they won't just stop at one, they'll take out your whole row. So it's important that they're all covered up and uh, we enjoy them rather than the pigeons. So that's that for this little section, nice little job. Transplanting summer cabbages. Okay, just to, just where I've planted the uh, cabbages, there's a bit of uh, a log pile there which I will cut up and uh, sort out at some stage, but at the moment they're going to have to stay outside. I've got nowhere to put them in the shed to dry out, ready for the burner. Um, I won't eat them just yet anyway, more later on in the year, but at least they can have a good drying off period. Just where the uh, I've lifted the clutch up there, that's where my spring cabbages are. I'll just give you a little update as to how they're progressing. Um, the smaller ones there, you can tell the smaller ones in the row, they were damaged um, by some people and what it is, is we've had a, a couple of break-ins, we've had a, a lot of people's gardens been trashed really by vandals and it's resulted in me myself losing several of the uh, cabbages. The, the small ones which you can see uh, I managed to replant them, they still had a bit of root on them, they've obviously took well. I gave them a bit of a feed, a bit of blood, fish and bone, made sure they had plenty of water and uh, they seem to be doing well so thankfully and hopefully uh, I shall get a good harvest out of them. But uh, as you can see there's a few weeds around it so I'm just going to get them cleared out of the way and then give them a bit of breathing space, give them a watering and then uh, return the clutch again. Okay then that's another good job done. Weeded all around the spring cabbages. As you can see the bucket there, full of weeds. But uh, they've came up, come up fairly easily. So I'll give them a bit of a drink and then with the warm weather we've got coming this week and the weekend into next week should bring them on no end. Just the remaining bed now. It's the odd bit of weeds, not a lot really. I think the camera makes it look a lot worse and a lot bigger than what it is. It's only about a six foot patch there, and that's about it really. A bit near the greenhouse, get rid of that sand, tie those blackberries up, put the water butt back up. That's that section done. I'll just take you down to the greenhouse. Spring cabbages in here. The benefits of a bit of protection over winter. The peas are a bit hit and miss at the moment in the guttering, which is a bit of a shame because I thought they'd do a lot better because I've done well in the past couple of years with those chili plants. Beef steak tomatoes at the back, peppers, peppers, sorry, potatoes in the pots, and the carrots. I'll just show you this little device here, temperature gauge, today it's been as high as 32 degrees in here, we're getting plenty of warmth, 5.1 this morning and now it's 14, so everything's coming on nicely. So that's it then, for this week, the week round up, I'm back again at the weekend to do another video. Thank you for everybody for watching, subscribing and commenting, I really do appreciate it and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.